What's up guys, JV2017 here, and it's been a while since I've just talked to you guys on a webcam without actually streaming, but today I'd like to talk to you about three really important things, and I've got a very concise list and like talking points to talk about with you guys today because I don't want to leave anything out, but the three things I want to talk about with you guys today are streaming, making regular YouTube videos again because I really want to do that, and also how to stay in contact with me through social media. You guys know that I'm always about improving my channel, and social media has always been a very weak point for me. I have almost and you know no social media presence, uh, very little Twitter followers, people liking my Facebook page, Google+, Plus, all of that. So I want to talk about these things with you guys today, and I'm going to start with social media because I don't want you guys to get through this video. It's got probably going to be like a nine-minute video, and you don't watch through the end where the social media stuff is, so I'm going to start with that. So again, it's always been a weakness for me and it really needs to change. If you look at other YouTubers, they have very active Twitters, plenty of Twitter followers, uh, Facebook pages with polls and all kinds of cool stuff. I really wanna get into that and I really wanna build that presence with you guys. So Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus are the platforms that I wanna start developing and building with you guys and I wanna use them to interact and keep you guys updated. That's the purpose of all of them, but also they will kinda of be used in different ways. So I'm gonna to get to that right now. So Twitter, my Twitter right now, I'm gonna put it on the screen, is at JV2017. That's my Twitter. It's a place where I will tweet about gaming stuff that I like, very general, maybe be like, oh, this game looks great, or I'm not really impressed by this trailer, I'm tired of CGI, I'm looking forward to the South Park game, Black Ops 3 looks cool. Just really cool kind of, you know, general ideas that I have that I would just share with my friends. And I pretty much already do that on my Twitter, but I haven't really shared it. But anyways, also what you'll see on my Twitter is every time I upload a video, you will get a little link to it. So maybe you're on your phone, you're out and about, you wanna watch it on your phone, maybe you wanna wait until you get back home. That is what Twitter is gonna be about. And the same thing with Facebook. My Facebook is also JV2017, but it's a fan page. So you like the fan page and then in your feed, you will have little updates about when I'm uploading, once again, very similar to Twitter, but also I'm gonna have it as a place where you guys can vote on polls for what you wanna see me stream and what kind of videos you wanna see or to make certain comments towards me that I'll try to get back to. You know, Obviously I get tons of comments on YouTube, inbox, all that kind of stuff, it's just nonstop. But um, that's also another place that I really wanna build. Again, my Facebook is JV2017, just like my Twitter, and also, Google Plus, I know more people than I really realize use Google Plus and I have it attached to my YouTube account. So it's a further place for more interaction through comments on YouTube. If you wanna, I believe, follow me there as well, it's JV2017 Gameplay, which is just like my YouTube channel. So anyways, I really wanna build those up. I really wanna have a presence with you guys to increase this interaction. I think it's a really good idea now that I'm streaming as well. So I would appreciate it if you guys hit those up. Links are actually in the description, so you don't even have to go and look them up, but I provided the names on the screen for you guys as well. And it would really you know, make me happy if you guys went over there and maybe liked or follow me on Twitter if you don't have a Twitter, whatever. Um, I just really wanna build that presence, basically. So anyways, let's get on to the meat and potatoes, so to speak. Streaming, I wanna talk about streaming. So I've been streaming for probably the past four to five months. I started with Bloodborne, and then I took a little bit of a break. Actually, um, I streamed Bloodborne for about two months because that game was really long. And then, of course, you guys have been seeing me stream Fallout, and I actually have a legit streaming schedule now. But I wanted to go over the, a lot of the things that I've learned over streaming the past four or five months. So a lot of people ask me why I stream on YouTube instead of Twitch. It's a very common question on all of my streams here on YouTube. I stream here on YouTube to be closer to my sub base. That's what I tell everyone that asks me that question. I have 117,000 subs here on YouTube over the past five years, and only about 300 followers on Twitch, which I basically built since I made my Twitch channel. I believe I made it a long time ago, didn't even touch it for about a year, but over the past maybe you know two, three months that I did stream regularly on Twitch, I got about 300 something followers. And so I kind of wanted to go over the pros and cons of each with you guys and uh, really think critically about this. So anyways, let's start with YouTube. Pros of YouTube are that I'm closer to my subscribers that have already built and established. I don't have to start from the beginning like I'm having to do with Twitch. And also with YouTube, there's more visibility. YouTube has a search bar. If someone searches for Fallout 4, my stream will pop up. And you know, I guess that's sort of the same thing with Twitch, but YouTube's algorithm for searching um, brings me a lot higher up on the bar, probably because I have more subs um, and more people watching on YouTube. 
than Twitch. It gets me more visibility overall. Um, so that is a pro of YouTube. And those are the only pros that I could come up with. The cons for YouTube, there's less ability to grow. There's less upside. If PewDiePie were to stream on YouTube, he'd probably get tens of thousands, maybe 100,000 people watching him on YouTube. However, it's a less established platform for streaming. It just is. There's less ability to grow at the moment. And that might change when YouTube rolls out YouTube gaming. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. But until then, YouTube is just a lesser you know, platform in general. And that's my next point. It's a lesser platform. If you compare the two, you can do a lot more things on Twitch than you can do on YouTube. And it's just a fact, you know, I can do a lot of cool things on Twitch. I'm actually going to get to that when I talk about Twitch. So another issue with YouTube, another con is that I tried to block somebody and they pretty much derailed one of my streams and I had to move over to Twitch to finish it out for the night. And that really annoys me. It bugs me. Like, what if I have more people watching on YouTube, you know, 100, 200, and I run into someone else that I can't block? That's a real problem. So that is a con for me. And also... The donation culture here on YouTube is people don't even know how to donate. They ask me how to donate because they don't know. And you guys got to realize that YouTube is a hobby, a passion, and a job for me at the moment. And so it's the only source of income that I have. And so, you know, if I'm going to continue with YouTube and maybe even turn it to a career at some point that I depend on to, you know, put the food on the table, pay the rent or whatever, um, the donation culture here on YouTube no one knows how it works. And Twitch, it's a whole different story. So let's go ahead and talk about Twitch now. The pros of Twitch, there's more ability to grow. You know, if you grow your Twitch following, people watch Twitch streamers, you know, the more popular ones, Man vs. Game, um, you know, Gold Glove. There's all kinds of Twitch uh, streamers out there that have tens of thousands of people watching them. Not so on YouTube, and there's a reason for that. It's far less established at this point, and Twitch is the better platform. I can do so many cool things on Twitch that I can't do on YouTube. I can make really cool overlays along the bottom. When someone joins, there's a ticker tape that says, welcome. You know, I can put a green screen behind me, so I'm floating, and that's really cool. It's less obtrusive on the stream. I can make it look really fancy on Twitch. I can't do that here on YouTube because it's just, it's the better platform on Twitch right now. So... Also, like I said with donations, there's more donation culture on Twitch. It's more common to just pop in and maybe donate a buck or two to your favorite streamer. Uh, people know how to do it. It's a common thing. They don't know on Twi on uh, YouTube. No one knows. They ask me. So that's also a very real reality. Also on Twitch, there's a possibility for a sub button in the future. If I get a certain amount of people watching me regularly, I can apply and get a subscriber button. And that opens up so many other opportunities streaming on Twitch. Uh, so anyways, let's talk about Twitch cons. I'm further from my subs. Once again, it's like starting over kind of and also having to tell people on my, you know, YouTube channel where they have to go in order to, uh, you know, watch me stream on another website, which is kind of frustrating, but it's the better platform once again. And the other con I have for Twitch is there's less visibility at the start. You're pretty much under the weight of all the other big Twitch streamers. You kind of have to crawl your way up, which is kind of how it was for me at the beginning of YouTube. But again, it's kind of this starting all over thing with Twitch. So anyways, those are my observations. I haven't made a decision yet on whether I'm going to you know, stream only on YouTube, only on Twitch. Right now, I'm sticking to my stream schedule on YouTube that I've established and not streaming on Twitch. But it's something that's going to be developing and something I'm going to have to make a decision on at some point, just to let you guys know. Now let's talk about YouTube videos. So I have this idea, and it's just an idea right now, nothing is set in stone, that I could split my content between YouTube videos and streaming on Twitch. An example of this is, say in November, Call of Duty is coming out on November 17th, I believe, or maybe it's earlier, and Fallout 4 is coming out on November 10th, or maybe they come out on the same day. I'm not even sure, but the issue is there's not a lot of channels on YouTube that post both Call of Duty and Fallout. So I have this idea that maybe I could split my content between both of the sites and you know serve this kind of content to you guys and enter entertain you in this way on YouTube and serve this other kind of content and play another game with you guys over on Twitch. So again, a general idea, an example of this would be posting Call of Duty tip kind of videos, you know, some of the stuff I'm really used to over on YouTube, and then going over here on Twitch on the same day and streaming four to five hours of Fallout 4, which honestly, that's probably the kind of content I'm gonna wanna do with Fallout 4 is streaming. 
and I could also do some Fallout 4 tips as well, but honestly, like I said, there's not a lot of uh, YouTube channels that exist that kind of split uh, their content on the same site, and so I think that's something actually that I probably really wanna get into, um, but it's just an idea at this point and not something I'm gonna put into action just yet. But right now, I've decided I do wanna return to YouTube videos, and what I'm going to be posting is Destiny. I'm returning back to Destiny, and I have so many ideas in terms of series that I've been thinking about since Destiny came out last year in September. Uh, I'm gonna return to weapon guides is the first thing that I thought of right off the bat, because I have plenty of guns that I haven't maxed out all the way, that I can go back, you know, do some more of those you know, XP grinding kind of things, go through strikes, all that kinds of stuff. Um, do Prison of Elders, Trials of Osiris, all kinds of stuff that I could do and cover on my channel. You know, maybe do a DLC review over the newest DLC, maybe uh, do some things that look into The Taken King, which is coming out this September. And so there's plenty of things I could do back with Destiny. And I wanna start posting daily videos again. Um, maybe not exactly daily at first, but I wanna get back into the groove of things with that. Sorry, I hit my mic. Um, so that's what I wanna do and that's what I'm going to do. And so this is probably going to affect my stream schedule, though not yet. I'm gonna kind of announce that I will let you guys know exactly how that's gonna affect it, but it's also gonna give me more breathing room. Um, so I'm gonna return to kind of the regular daily kind of thing, um, but also uh, keep up with streaming. So an example of my, how it might affect streaming, I could either stream just three nights a week and cut each stream by maybe an hour or so, or I could stream two nights a week and make them five hours. Um, but I, in general, wanna keep streaming. I wanna keep that up. I wanna keep this up that I've been doing with you guys um, for this amount of time. So anyways, this has been a really long video. I hope you stayed towards the end and I hope uh, you're kind of on board with these ideas. If you're not, let me know in the comments. I really wanna have a back and forth with you guys because I talked about a lot in this video. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you on a next stream or on one of my next videos. Peace.